Hi guys, it's Luton here and um, today I've actually got an unusual video because I'm actually having a problem with Elgato Game Capture HD software and I'm wondering if anybody out there can have a solution or suggestion for something to try and fix this problem. Now, some people noted that the video, the thought for the day that I posted today, the one, uh, what was it, thought for the day, uh, Christ, what the hell was it called? Anyway, the most recent one, 26, okay. Um, the problem with that, uh, you may have noticed that the quality was not quite right. Some people noticed that it wasn't quite as good, and I was like, yeah. You know, I hadn't done anything different, so I just made the video, exported it, and expected it to be absolutely fine. And when I looked at it again, the quality was not quite, you know, it was, well, it was, it was not as good as it should be. It looked like it was like 480, basically, and not 720. So, however, when I exported it, it said it was HD, so I didn't think anything of it. Um, and then I started looking at clips tonight, and I started making short clips and uploading them to YouTube. And when I was exporting and then uploading them to YouTube, none of them were turning to HD when I put them into YouTube, when I was exporting RAW out of this program. Okay, so basically the clips were being exported, they were not HD. So it meant they were different size, and I was confused by this. So what I did was I started doing some tests. Now... I've got various dates here of clips and stuff. Now this is a little three second clip from the 25th of January, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I click on this, right? And then you can click here, which will export that, that video, okay? So we click there, and that exported so fast because it's only a three second clip. Now the other thing is I can reveal this here, okay? Now this will pop up, and I can see this is the raw. Now that's, that's the segment there. The reason it's 6.17 gig is because that's for the entire file not just that uh that three second clip right there so if i click on this now and open it you'll see here that there's 45 minutes of gameplay all right so there's a lot of stuff there but the important thing is that with this raw file actually hold on now if we go to the hdpvr file and uh this is a clip right here now when we open this, okay, this is the three second clip. I'll just play that and you see, okay, it's just a menu. But if I click the inspector right here, okay, this tells you the stats of the video that you're looking at. Now you can see here it says format H.264 and the size is 128720. That's basically your 720 footage, okay, so it's HD. So that is correct, all right, that's an HD file. That's what it should be, all right. And this was recorded, whatever, two days ago. Now I haven't changed anything in my system, I haven't changed anything in my setup, I haven't altered the settings or done anything, okay? Um, I will say that I deleted the software and reinstalled it again tonight to try and get it to work. I also cleared out the sort of save settings the cache because I thought that might be a problem. This didn't alter anything at all. Now, let's see what happens if I use a more up-to-date piece of footage. Now here's a little clip from Wipeout, just the menu that I recorded tonight. Now this has been happening since literally the day, so the 26th, okay? It just started happening. Now I'll export this little clip right here. Now there's an important thing to note here, okay? Now for a start off, look how much longer that's taking to export. So it's kind of processing it. It's, it's not just literally going straight out. Now that's only a seven second clip. Whereas the other one was three seconds, so it's like half the time. But look how much longer that took to export. Now the other thing I want to note is if I click on this raw file right here. Now here we go. Now if I open this up. Okay, now that's the file. Now if we inspect that file, you can see that it is also 1280.720. Okay, so it's 1280. So that's HD in its raw format. Okay, in the format that the capture software has recorded it as. The raw file is correct, it's HD, okay? However, when we actually go to where the clip is now being processed through, if we open up this file, looks fine, but then when you inspect it, look, the size is altered to 1236697. Okay, so it's scaled the footage down. Now, I have no idea why it started to do this. As I say, I have not changed any settings. The only thing that I did, okay, the only thing that I did, uh, but was I used uh, the Elgato HD Capture to, I was testing it out with the Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive, 
because I was trying out some retro games. The thing to note is that, let's just scroll through the clips here. Now look, here is where I actually tested out the Mega Drive, 23rd of Jan. Now, I did actually get some other footage somewhere in here, but I've, I didn't save it because I didn't need it. Um, however, I can't understand why that would affect it. Um, the only thing that I could think is that within the capture settings itself, if we go over here, now you can see here you can adjust things. Now, when I was, I would have gone to other, now, I wonder if perhaps that being checked could affect it. I honestly can't think that it would, but that's the only other thing that's changed was those boxes being ticked. Let's just see if that makes any difference. If that makes a difference, that's very strange and it really shouldn't. Let's just export that same file again. I'll just label it three. Let's just try export that bit of, now look, see it's still taking a long time. So it's still processing. So whatever that, that was, it didn't make any difference whatsoever. So this is the problem that I'm having. When I process the file, um, it's taking, you know, it's, it's taking the file and compressing it, basically changing its size. And I'm pretty sure that when I click on this right now, and it's exactly the same, I think. And yeah, it's still scaled it down. As I say, I do have a workaround for this, which is that if I open the raw clip, okay, where it's saved when I've, I've made a clip of a, pro, a thing, okay. If I open that in a quick time for me, which is the video player. Now remember, just to show you, that is like 1280, 720, all right. Now if I save this file, because when you're in quick time, if you save it, it will save as the format. So save a movie file that contains media in the same format as the original movie. However, it will alter the size, it will scale it down. I'm gonna actually, uh, I'll save that to my desktop. Or somewhere. No, I'll save it into the HTTPBR. I'll just call it uh, test one. Okay, now you can see again, whoosh, just that saved so fast because it was a short. Notice as well, right, that when I save it from here, it's almost instantaneous, okay? But when you actually save it through, when you share it through the, the software itself, it takes forever. It's a really long time. So it's, it's clearly doing something that it shouldn't be doing, and I, I don't know why. Now, when I open that file, the one that I just saved, now the file size you'll notice is pretty much the same as the processed one. The only thing that's different is that the uh, file size is, is it's an MPEG-4 and stuff. But again, the uh, format is correct. I'll just open that up in QuickTime itself. Okay, and then you'll see that it's 1280, 720. So that is correct, and I even tested this by taking one of those files and putting it into YouTube, and it uploaded HD. So. The problem that we have, okay, I'll put this as well, I'll put like a little link to to jump all the stuff that I've been doing in between here now. The problem that we're having, when I share a file from Game Capture HD, it's doing something to that file, it's processing it somehow, and it's compressing it, it's changing the size of the file down to 1236697. No idea why it's doing this. Um, as I say, it might be a bit of a shot in the dark. I'm not entirely sure whether anybody's going to have any idea or any suggestions because the, the settings that you can change in this program are very limited. So it's not like I've done something that would make it do this. I, I cannot understand. I have sent a ticket to Elgato. I have sent messages to their Twitter. Um, I, it's not that I don't have a workaround. I do. It's just that it's a little bit of a fiddle. Um, it's a bit of an irritating, long-winded way around it you know I have to open the bloody finder okay and then I have to take this then I have to save it it's a lot easier if you can just click the file and click share and it's done and you can also share multiple files so often of an evening okay uh, if I've done a few bits of gaming if I've for example done a couple of live com videos like Far Cry okay I've got a couple of videos I want to export or whatever I can just click for them to go out and they're done now, if I have to use this other way around it's going to be more of a hassle so um, yeah that's basically it I really would like any help with this um, or if you guys want to sort of direct Elgato to look at this video, that would be really helpful as well. Um, thanks for watching this one, guys. It's a bit of a tech video, uh, but don't worry, I've got some more bits and pieces coming this week. And as you can hear, my voice is on the mend. It's still not perfect, but it's getting there. And uh, yeah, so I say, I really would appreciate, if any if anybody manages to solve this, there'll be a big reward. What well, that big reward could be. Hmm. Maybe I could do a video with that person or something. <laughs> we could work something out. But as I say, this is a big frustration for me. I hate 
technical problems. They get under my skin. Uh, when I have something like this that I cannot figure out, it drives me insane. So as I say, anybody who's got a workaround or a solution or an idea about what I can test to see if it will fix this, massively appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon.